Hi everyone, how are you? How is your morning? How is everything? And how have you woken up and how is your, your, how are you feeling? My name is Wangeshi Karaoke. I'm here. And I thank God for life, for everything that he has done into us, for choosing us, for being there for us. And for never letting down us down even when we went astray and when we stopped obeying him. And when we stop listening to him, he's God. And he loves us. Hi, good morning. How are you doing? Uh, good morning. How are you doing? My name is Wangeshi Karaoke. Let me see by your raise of hand. Uh, let me see by your names. Tell me where you're going from. You're, you're seeing, you're watching from. And I will give you some shout outs. How are you doing? How are you, my people? How is your morning? Um, mm, hi, today I want to read the book of Isaiah chapter 49, Isaiah chapter 49, Jini Wajiko, good morning dear, China tuned, uh, good morning, may God bless you, may God be with you, may God protect you, may God bless the work of your hands, may God remember you and always give you happiness in Jesus mighty name, Mom Grace Shege, morning girl, morning, how are you doing, how is your morning, may God be with you, may God walk with you, may God listen to you, may God answer you in the time of need. God Frika Godu, top line tile center Kiambu, hi, may God bless the work of your hands. May God give you favor in everything that you do. May God remember you. May God answer you. May God always walk with you in Jesus' mighty name. God freak God do careful. God bless you. Who else is here? Who else is watching? Who else is here? I can see and I know you're going to share. Kindly share so that we can start our sermons of the day. And we thank God for life and we thank God for protecting us. You see how many people are... Well, things, uh, shocking things that we have been seeing on TV, people selling bad meat, people turning out to be like animals, people not minding and caring about others, just people minding about their stomachs. And God is telling us that that riches, those things that you have been looking for, it is going to turn against you. And every riches that is corrected in a wicked way, it's going to eat your family and eat your bones dry. May the Lord remember us. May the Lord always be with us. Grace Katika watching. How are you, my darling? How are you doing? How is your day? May God bless you. May God be with you. May God be always walk with you and give you favor in your ways. Winnie, Winnie, morning watching from Kitui. Um, Gadoni, Dongo, Desh, good morning. How are you doing? I want to remind you that God loves you and uh, he is about to restore you. And the restoration of your life, restoration of your family, restoration of your business, restoration of your your relationships, restoration of everything that has gone out, has, has, has gone south in your life. And today we're going to read on the book of Isaiah. Kindly share, click the share button to your pages, to your, to your, don't just watch. Please kindly click the share button to all the pages that you know to all the friends that you know, to all, uh, to your page also, and so that we can continue with our day. Massey, good luck. Hi, my mentor. God, good morning, girl. May God bless you. May God be with you. Martin Karaoke, good morning. Hi, girl, from KPCU. Sylvia Gato, may God bless you. Amon, Amos Kamau, Germany tuned, always feeling blessed. Thank, thanks a lot. God bless you. God protect you. God be with you. God give you peace. God give you favor in everything that you do in Jesus' mighty name. Pinches King, good Good morning, Kamau. How are you doing? I hope you went well and everything is okay. Lady Aderi Dungo tuned. Agathoni Dungo Dash. How are you? Good morning. David Rogo Kamau. Good morning from Pretoria, South Africa. May God be with you. May God be with you. May God be with you in everything that you do. David Kabakaho, Pastor, watching, bless you, watching from USA. God bless you. And uh, we are about to, to read on what God is about to do to us. Today I'm going to read on the book of Isaiah. How are you doing? Foybe Odungi. Foybe Odungi. Good morning, girl. May God bless you. May God be with you. May God always have your 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 your, your interest at heart. May God love you so much in everything that you do. Steve Moy, hi. How is N T V? Or oh, how where are you, Stephen Way? May God bless you. Shiko Moigai, good morning. Jane Moagi, good morning. Uh, thank you for everything that you have uh, been doing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. May God bless you. Today God wants to remind us that He has been loving us, He has been taking care of us. And it's not because we are righteous, it is not because we are good, it's only that we are not done and we are not complete and we are not we are not done with the kingdom. And that's why He has been preserving us. Sometimes you wonder why so many people 
people are sick in hospitals and you're not. Sometimes you might wonder why people are, are healthy and some people are very sick. Some people are consuming bad meat and very bad things that people are doing, very inhuman things that people are doing, but God has been protecting you. Sometimes God watches in the, even the food that you eat. Sometimes you have been eating that poison as meat and God has been protecting you. It is not because you're righteous. It's not because you're good. It's only that he loves you and he is not done with you. And he wants you to, every time you wake up in the morning, he wants to use you for his glory. Pinky Shiko, good morning, beautiful. Nanoto Gutoga in Jesus' name. Karaoke Gakama, watching from Iraq. May God bless you and protect you. Charles Wageshi, hi, Mombasa, Nito, Ambasala, Mam Kuaji, Nye, Tom Shukurumola, Kwa Hai, Nakwa Kusa, Skutulinda, Nyakati Zote. Let me go straight to the word of the day, and it is Isaiah chapter 49, and you claim with me, and claim with me and believe that God is going to do, because this is the book of life, the Bible, and whatever he says is ne never goes back to him and accomplished. The restoration of Jerusalem, the Lord says to his people, when the time comes to save you, I will show you favor and answer your cries for help. I will guard and protect you, and through you make a covenant with all people. I will let you settle once again in your land and that is now laid waste. I will say to the prisoners, go free and to those who are in darkness, come out of the light. They will be like sheep that graze on the hills. They will never be hungry or thirsty. Sun and the desert heat will not hurt them. For they will be led by one who loves them. He will lead them to springs of water. I will make a highway. I will make a highway across the mountains and prepare road for my people to travel. My people will come from far away, from north and the west, and from Aswan in the south. Sing heaven's shout of joy. And let the mountains burst into song. The Lord will comfort his people. He will have pity on his suffering people. God is promising us that he's going to have pity on us and we are going to suffer no more. But the people of Jerusalem say, the Lord has abandoned us. He has forgotten us. The Lord answers, can a woman forget her own baby and not love the child she bore? Even if a mother should forget her child, I will never forget you. Can somebody say amen? Can somebody say amen? And the God is telling us that even, but the people of Jerusalem, this is what God was, people were complaining to God. The, uh, the people from Jerusalem were complaining and they were saying, but the people of Jerusalem say, the Lord has abandoned us. He has forgotten us. So the Lord answers, can a woman forget her own baby and not love the child she bore? Even if a mother should forget her child, I will never forget you. Oh, God is telling you that he has not, he is not done with you and he has not forgotten you. And he is telling you that, that he is going to graze, you're going to graze on the hills that are blessed and has riches from heaven. He will lead them to springs of water. He will make highway across the mountains and prepare a road for my people to travel. He is saying that the Lord says to his people, when the time comes to save you, I will show you favor and answer your cries for help. I will guard and protect you and through you make a covenant with all all the peoples. That's why I'm telling you, you are not dead because you're not done yet with the kingdom. God is God is willing to use you so that his kingdom can be known. His, his goodness and greatness can be known through you. God can never praise himself. God can never worship himself. People will ca cannot come and teach people about himself. He is going to use you, but for now you have to be down so that every nation can see you suffering, so that your neighbors can see you jobless, so that you, every person can see you sick, so that you can struggle in your relationships and in your marriages, because he's going to restore. How are people going to know that he restored you when you had you have not suffered please i'm telling you to hold on there because god is going to do a new thing in your life and that's why he is telling you this that i will let you settle once again in your land and that is now laid waste i'm going to to let you settle once again in your land that is now laid waste that he knows that you're suffering right now that he knows your 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 land has laid to waste and everybody's laughing at you and yourself you can't see away because your land has laid waste but he's telling you and promising you that he's going to restore your land that is now laying waste. 
I will say to the prisoners, go free, and those who are in the darkness, come out of the light. And he's promising those who, those who are in prison, those who are locked in dark places, that he's going to call them up to light again so that people can know the kingdom. Sometimes it's not because of your grace. Sometimes it's not because you're protecting yourself. Sometimes it's not because you have done wrong to God. Sometimes God allows things to happen for his glory. Sometimes you're suffering because he's going to make your land uh, wake up again. Sometimes you're suffering because he has to use you for his testimonies. And he's telling you, they will be like sheep that graze in the hills. I will say to the prisoners, go free and to those who are in darkness, come out of the light. They will be like sheep that graze on the hills. They will never be hungry or thirsty. Sun and the desert heat will not sun and the desert heat will not hurt them for they will be led by the one who loves them for you will be led by the one who loves you even if you go through the darkness and valleys of of death you will not be hurt you will not be hurt you will not die you're not going to come out you will not you're not going to die out of that situation you're going you're not going to be forgotten and you are not going to be forgotten but god is promising you that he's going to come to come and do a new thing in your life he led them to the springs of water i will make a highway across the mountain and prepare a road for my people to travel. My people will come from far away, from the north and the west, from Aswan in the south. Sing heaven's shout of joy. Earth, let the mountain burst into song. The Lord will comfort his people. He will have pity on his suffering people. That God is going to have pity on us. That God is knowing what we are going through. That God is good seeing what we are going through. That God can see your fears, but he is telling you that he is going to give you a new dawn. He is going to make you shine once more. He's going to restore you. He's going to remove you from those dark, locked places so that they can know that he's God. Sometimes you, uh, you have to endure what you're going through because it has been brought by God. Maybe for his glory. But today he's reminding us, but the people of Jerusalem say, this is what you're saying and this is what you're telling yourself. But I said, the Lord has abandoned me. He has forgotten me. And so the Lord is answering today. Can a woman forget her own baby and no, no, not love the child that she bore? Even if a mother should forget her child, I will never forget you. Jerusalem, I can never forget you. I have written your name on the palms of my hand. Those who will rebuild you are coming soon. Those who are supposed to, those who are carrying your promises, those who are carrying your blessings, those who are carrying everything that belongs to you are coming to rebuild. Now, ma'am, I will go back to the verse 14. I will go back to verse 14, which says, But the people of Jerusalem say, The Lord has abandoned us, and I know that is what you are saying. He has forgotten us. So the Lord answered, God is answering, Can a woman forget her own baby and love the child and not love the child that she bores? Even if a mother should forget her child, I will never forget you. Jerusalem, I can never forget you. I have written your name on the palms of my hand. Those who will rebuild you are coming soon, and those who destroyed you will leave. Hallelujah. God is promising you that those who are bringing you down, those who brought you down, those who, who, who brought you down, those who destroyed you are going to live. Those who will rebuild you are coming soon. And those who destroyed you will live. Look around and see what is happening. Your people are assembling. They are coming home. And surely, as surely as I am the living God, you will be proud of your people. As proud as the bride is of her jewels. Your country was ruined and desolated but now it will be too small for those who are coming to live there but God is going to bring to, to bless your household God is going to bless your hands God is going to bless your land God is going to bless this nation because he's coming to do a new thing and he's telling us the space of the blessings will not be enough he's telling us and he's promising us that he's doing a new thing because he is not done yet with us he's asking us can a woman forget a, a child that he bore that she bore. And he's telling us, even if you have seen a mother throwing away their kids, even if you've seen a mother killing their kids, he said and he said again, I will never forget you. I'm coming to rescue you and I'm going to bless you. And he's saying that those who will rebuild you are coming soon and those who destro destroyed you will leave. This is verse, Isaiah chapter 49 verse 17. It says, those who will rebuild 
you are coming soon and those who destroyed you will leave. Look around and see what is happening. Your people and your blessings are assembling so that you can sing again to the Lord. I want you to believe what God is telling you. I want you to believe his word. It is, this is not what I've written. This is... I'm not, I'm not getting this from my head. I'm just getting it from the living book, the Bible, the living book of God, the book that never even burns when things are burning because it's the word of God and it is the truth. He doesn't lie and nor his words go back to his mouth unfulfilled. He's promising you that he's doing a new thing into your life and he's going to rebuild you. He is saying those who will rebuild you are coming soon and those who destroyed you will leave. God knows that there are people who have brought you down. God knows that there people who have been praying for your downfall those people knows there are people who talked against you and you got you 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 were laid off god knows that there are people who brought your your home down god knows there are people who brought your peace down god knows there are people who are planning to bring you down god knows there are people who are praying for your downfall but he is promising you today that those people who destroyed you will leave you and those people who are going to rebuild you are coming soon he is telling you look around and see what is happening you you people are assembling. They are coming home. As surely as I am living God, you will be proud of your people. As surely, and God is swearing, as surely as he is God, as surely as he is the one who created you, as surely as the one who knows you and loves you, as surely as the one who has kept you alive and people have been dying, as surely as he is your living God, he is coming and he is assembling your blessings. He is promising you that those people who have your blessings, those people that has your, who are has your, your blessings around. Those people who are going to make you go to the, and the next level, they are going to come soon. And those people who brought you down, they are going to leave your presence. They are going to leave you and they are going to, to, they are going to be ashamed by the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mom Grace Shege, God bless you. Keshi star no nigo tu kego in Jesus name. Jean Wabogo, Amen. David Kehoi Pastor, Amen. Kerry Monica Black Moses Guani locked and uh, everybody who is watching. God is promising us that He is doing a new thing. God is promising us that those who are holding our blessings are coming soon. God knows that there are people who brought down. The God knows there are people who have been praying for your downfall. God knows there are people who brought your sickness, your depression. But He's telling you that He is living. They are leaving your presence soon and he's going to bring those people that are going to bring your blessings and he said as sure as i am your living god i'm doing a new thing in your life please don't stop listening to me stop even thinking it's me who is telling you but i'm telling you this is the book of life who the god your living god who is promising you that and those who left you in ruins will be far removed from you see what god is telling you See what God is telling you. Until your country was run and desolate, but now it will be too small for those who are coming to live there. He's telling you, and those who left you into ruins, those who cram scrambled you down, those who brought you down and, and stumped at you, he's saying that those who left you in ruins will be far removed from you. Your people who were born in exile will one day say to you, this land is too small. We need more room to live in. Then you will say to yourself, who bore all these children for? me i lost my children and i could have and i could and then you will say to yourself who bore all these children for me i lost my children i could not have no more i was exiled and driven away who brought these children up i was left alone where did these children come from the sovereign lord says to these people i will signal to the nation and they will bring your children home this is what the Lord is telling you, that he is going to signal to the nation, to all those holes and locked places that are holding your blessings, to those people who know your blessings. And he's telling you that he's going to signal nations and they are going to bring your blessings home. They are going to bring your children home. And kings will be like, listen to what he's telling you. Please believe because he is God and he never lies. Kings will be, the sovereign Lord says to his people, I will signal to the nation and they will bring your children home. Kings will be like fathers to you. Queens will be like mothers. They will bow low before you and honor you. They will humbly show your respect for you. Then you will know that I am God. The one who waits for help will not, the, no one who waits for my help will be disappointed. Can you take away soldier a loot? Can you rescue the prisoners of a tyrant? The Lord replies, 
That is just what is going to happen. The soldier prisoner will be taken away. The tyrant look will be seized. I will fight against whoever fights you. I will make your oppressors kill each other. They will be drunk with murder, rage. Then all people will know that I am the Lord, the one who saves you and sets you free. They will know I am the Israelites, a powerful God. That is what God is promising you. I know sometimes you can't see your way out. I know sometimes you feel so hopeless. I know sometimes you don't know even where to go. But God is promising you that I will make your oppressors kill each other. They will be drunk with murder and rage. Then all people will know that I am the Lord, the one who saves you and sets you free. They will know that I am the Israelite's powerful God. I have nothing to add, nothing to subtract. You have heard by yourself what God is has promised you he's going to fight for you he is going to bring your children home he's going to bring back your health he's going to bring back your family he's going to bring back anything that was taken by those who hate you and he is telling you that you will see with your eyes those who brought you down being leaving you and those who are holding your blessings are going to come back to your place may god bless you may god bless his words i am supposed to go back to the, to the studio people are calling may god bless you may be may you be with with peace and everything that caused, I am being called to the studio. May God bless you. Father, we pray that everything will be okay and it shall be fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus. May you have a wonderful, prosperous day. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm, I'm running to the studio. Come to TV Kenya. May God bless you. In Jesus' name, we pray and give. Amen. Bye-bye.